Hello, uh, welcome to Cloudy Diary. So today, like, I just want to start a project with LearnEngine and see how it goes and all those stuff. So uh, that's what is today's agenda. So like, uh, to do that, okay, uh, let me just type this one. Lean new. That means LearnEngine new. Line again or LearnEngine. I don't know how to spell it. So you need to give a template for this app. So the template name is app, and then. Uh, I just want to print some stuff, so let me just uh, name it Gutenberg. So that's it. So I just do that, and uh, okay, it just says okay, generated pro project called Gutenberg. So let me just cd into Gutenberg, and then uh, launch VS Code. Okay, so I just got it so yeah this is it and yeah so let me make it bigger so over here you've just got this project.clj this is uh this is nothing but like a, a closure file uh, containing a data structure and uh what to say it contains okay uh all those stuff like uh what is this thing and okay i can just put Gutenberg uh, starting with Lin engine okay so yeah I, I can just put order I just want and all those stuff and uh, that's the thing and uh, this is the source and this is where all those uh, what to say uh, things are there right and uh, so like uh, in project.clj okay this is where the main function has been defined and core clj okay sorry in core clj this is where the main stuff has been defined and in project clj like uh, it just contains uh, all the uh, what to say uh, variables that are needed for the project and all those stuff right okay so so that's the thing and one thing what i can just do is like okay like i can just launch my terminal so terminal and all i just need to do is to say okay let me make it more bigger so, so, no smaller is better so all i can just say is lean and uh, lean run okay so this will just run the project okay so what happens is okay this just goes to this core clg i don't know how this core clj is being determined are we giving it over here or no ah yeah oh here yeah. we are just uh uh saying it over here so this is the thing and all those stuff right so maybe it looks to this core and it just goes to the main method and it just runs okay so that's the thing and another doubt i just had is like how to what to say uh put stuff in multiple files uh in uh, this thing uh what to say in a len engine project so uh let me just keep another file right so and uh okay it's in source gutenberg and all those stuff okay let me just put it like okay decoration dot clg so as soon as this Put it like okay you just got this namespace defined over here right so that's the thing so i'll just define a function called print line print line and yeah it accepts no arguments and all it does is like okay like uh print line and uh, you just take uh 50 of what to say like repeat star okay, so that's the thing and uh, i don't know how it will work so let me just test it so uh, i just need ripple for that so i just type ripple over here okay let me just jack in so usually we used to do is to connect to this ripple not running in project but now i'm just jacking in this is a very convenient way and uh calva knows this is a len engine project and it will start the ripple just like that okay and uh, so over here i'll just need to choose len engine 
and i don't know what it means like pick a profile to launch it i just give nothing and just specify okay right so that's it so that's how it just goes so let me just uh try this print line uh, sorry this uh, print line function and see how it goes okay so now uh, let me just execute this print line right uh i am getting it but i don't know what's happening over here why i'm just getting the space and all those stuff i just don't know so uh let me just try something like okay uh okay like closure closure dot do you have str string slash join join and let me just give like okay uh, a list of okay a vector of two stars because i don't want to give it as a list because that might cause some problems if I don't escape it properly and all those stuff. So. And let me just give no space over here, right? Uh, okay, so I think I need to give uh, this thing over here. Yeah, so I I just got it. So I just need to give closure closure string join, and uh, that's the thing. And uh, let me put it over here. Okay, I think uh, I just did it. And I think I need to require this one, like. Uh, require I don't think I I need to require this one so that's right, right so let me just execute it okay so let me just try out the sprint line okay so it seems to work okay so that's the thing so uh, that's a this is a core uh, closure library we are just uh, requiring so nothing fancy needs to be done but what if i just want to uh, use this decoration over here in core clj okay so this is what i'm just thinking okay so like uh, so uh what i can just do is like okay like uh, i can just put like okay like uh, decoration yeah couldn't dot decoration slash uh print line so i just call this function over here and right away if i just try to execute this one okay so over here you just have me and of course like once i just uh, execute sorry like load this main it just uh look at the space over here it becomes like uh, the namespace it goes to gutenberg code okay so that's the thing and if i just call main it just says okay yeah because this isn't being required over here so all i just need to do is i just need to require it over here require uh gutenberg dot decoration so Gutenberg dot decoration. So I don't know why I just need to put some apostrophe over here. I'm not sure. And uh, let me just run this. Right now, let me just run this. And let me call me. Right. Uh, okay. okay 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 uh unable to resolve symbol main okay yeah so i think i need to call it as hyphen main so hyphen main. yeah so now it just works so you've just got 50 stars and hello world and all those stuff 
so that's the thing so we have included decoration in and all those stuff so like since we have jacked in we can see like two uh terminal so here so one is the calva jack in and another one is uh what to say zsh so we can just put clean run over here and it says still hello world. okay i think i didn't save this okay i'm just saving it and uh and if i just put like okay lean run it just gives hello world right so that's how this thing works and what you can do is like you can do something like this like uh, uh i think you can just put something like uh you can require decorations as let's say uh dec is that possible so that's the thing and uh, let me just try it out with me and let me call main over here still seems to work so let me just run it so in terminal over here i'm just running it yeah still seems to work okay but yeah uh, i just want to put it as dc over here right okay anyway let me just execute it once execute it again and what to say call main over here and still seems to work if i put uh let me clear this up so now if i just put clean run still works so yeah this is a convenient way to require another file in uh in your main program or whatever it is or a dependency uh and uh they, this is the concise way of doing it and this is how you do it in data chat so uh this is what this video is about like i just want to see like how to work with multiple files and uh, how to include one file and uh in another and all those stuff include means not include okay use that library or something like that use that code or something like that right so yeah uh, that's it for this uh, uh video uh anyway thanks for watching